Google Juice is an open source lightweight Java framework that assists developers in managing dependencies and configurations in their applications with a focus on simplicity and ease of use. It provides tools to create and maintain modular, loosely coupled code by implementing dependency injection principles. Google Juice was first released on October 23rd, 2009 by Bob Lee and Kevin Burleon at you guessed it, Google. It was first generic framework for dependency injection using Java annotations in 2008, and since then it is being constantly updated and maintained. To start working with Google Juice, add it as dependency. Also, we'll add Juice servlet extension, and since we are already here, we'll also need Jakarta servlet API to work with servlets. Let's start off by creating a resource first. It will be pretty simple one, only a name. I will create a constructor and override to string method so that it will print in JSON format without a need of special mappers. Now I will create a simple interface with a single method that gets greeting and returns string. And now, Let's implement it. For the sake of this demo, let's do it simple. Create a new instance of demo resource and return its to string value. Nice, it is all coming together. Now let's create a servlet which will require demo service as dependency. We have to create a constructor with this service and annotate it with at inject annotation from Jakarta package. Google Juice is compliant with JSR 330 standard, so you can use those annotations without any issues. Right now, let's extend HTTP servlet to allow HTTP traffic into this class and also annotate this with at singleton for only a single instance of demo servlet. Now we have to override method which we want to use. In our case, this method is get. Let's set response content to JSON and character encoding to UTF-8. And now to return some result, we have to get the writer and print into it. Now we have to create a context listener, which will inject dependencies and tell our application how to serve those requests. Let's start by extending choose servlet context listener. And there is one method which we have to implement, get injector. First, let's tell how to serve specific endpoint and with what servlet. Also, we have to tell Google Juice how to bind our interface with its implementation. Now, when it will be requested, this dependency injection framework will create an instance of required service and inject it into servlet. One more thing we have to do is to provide values inside web XML descriptor. There is some standard web app schema which we have to include and next we want to tell which filter to use. In our case, it is choose filter. Next, which URLs should be handled by this filter. And at the end, we have to provide our listener so that application will know how to handle those requests. We are done with our code. But how do we package and deploy our application? We'll use war to package the code and we'll also need some kind of container to run this. First, let's add war plugin into Gradle so that packaging into war will be easy. Next. Let's think of deployment. You could use bare web server and do all configuration on your own using Tomcat or Undertow. It would be pretty cool, but it is a topic for another video. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see me do this. Anyway, we'll go with Wildfly here, which is an application server. Just copy the war file into standalone slash deployments directory and then go into bin catalog and run standalone shell script. Everything is up and running. Now, depending on how you named your package, endpoint might be different. In my case, it is choose demo and hello. Nice, it is all working, I'm so excited. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. I think that you should try it. Get your hands dirty and this will broaden your knowledge. If you liked the video, remember to click a like button and subscribe. This helps me a lot. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.